Hello and welcome everybody to Game 3 of Idra vs Jinro from the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge currently going on in China as of this cast. Now, I decided to do a little bit of research and see what exactly is going on at that tournament right now. Did a little bit of research, saw uh, where you can look up some more information if you do want to check it out. As I said, you can check out the actual stream. You can find that link to that on teamliquid.net. Um, if you do want to see the VODs of this cast by the pros, it is is actually ca being cast right now by um, Mr. Bitter as well as Rotterdam. Absolutely love both of them. Huge fan of Mr. Bitter. Oh, I, used to, I miss his stream so much. He used to live stream lessons every, oh, like all the time, and I would just tune into him all the time. He, he had such good. He was just. He's just a ridiculously good teacher, and I really think he's a good caster. I think he's better than a lot of the casters out there. I don't think he gets nearly enough credit for being as good of a caster as he is. He's absolutely amazing. Love him so much. Definitely go check him out. Um, if you want to see some of the results in the standings, you can find them all on Liquid uh, Liquipedia. Just do a Google search for Liquipedia and you can find the link because the website to Liquipedia is not actually Liquipedia.com. I wish it was because that's why I always type into my browser thinking that that's the website and then I just get some random search website and uh, it never comes up. But if you just Google Liquipedia, it definitely comes up. Um, ESL.TV is where you can go check out the VODs as well as the schedule for the matches being played at IEM, cast by the pros. Uh, again, Rotterdam and Mr. Bitter casting those, so definitely go check those out and uh, I think you can even get the replays there as well I, I think that they're actually giving away the replays to all these matches there as well so Let's jump right into this game right now. We are currently in game three. Idra was able to take game one with just a heavy macro style, and Jinro just never really transitioned into siege tanks. So Idra was able to take game one pretty decisively. And uh, in game two, Jinro, well, he did get siege tanks, and he went for a lot of early bunkers and a lot of early pressure um, in the very, very early mid game I guess that's the yeah I would call that the mid game very very early mid game went for a big uh, push pretty kind of all inish just a little bit all inish at his natural expansion he wasn't fully saturated but started building a lot of bunkers missile turrets and other things right outside the base of Idra and sieged up a whole lot of tanks spread out his Marines nice and wide and Idra was just not able to break it and lost game two so going into game three that means whoever takes this match is gonna or whoever takes this game three is gonna take the entire match here so we are definitely gonna see who is gonna take this match right here right now on Shakur's Plateau I didn't even say where these people are spawning I mean we've been watching this replay for a while but in case you didn't already realize spawning here in the top left position at the Red Zerg we have EG Zidra spawning here in the bottom right position as the Yellow Terran we have of course Team Liquid's Jinro now we are gonna be seeing some early bunker pressure here from Jinro as two bunkers are currently going down right now Idra throwing down a spine crawler trying to get up as fast as possible getting some nice micro here by these two Marines in this lower position on the low ground got a lot of worker kills already four workers killed so far by just these two Marines um, well, maybe not just these two Marines. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there's the Marine with all the kills. So many kills so far for these Marines. If we check out that Harvester tab right now, we can see that Idra's actually down quite a bit, and Harvester's 12 to 17 right now. And Idra needs to get up a lot of Marines as soon as possible, and needs not lose too many here. He's actually losing a lot of Marines right now. Definitely needs to get up a couple more Spine Crawlers. Uh, one Spine Crawler currently up, another one on the way. More, mer uh, more Lings currently being produced here for Idra. Idra definitely still producing some drones because he knows he's so low on workers right now. It looks like he's going to be forcing a cancel on that bunker there. In the meantime, this other bunker is full of Marines and just shelling the heck out of this hatchery right now. Idra, how is he going to respond to this? How is he going to be able to deal with this? He's going to try to move in right now, try to get a few Marine kills. Loses another couple Zerglings, though. More Zerglings going down right now. Idra is stuck there in hold position there. Not in the best way right now. Not mining any gas right now. Not that many workers in the main. Not that many workers in the natural. And the spine crawler now being uprooted and rerooted here by Idra trying to get into a good position, but it looks like that spine crawler is going to go down. The Zergly is moving around. Definitely not the best control here by Idra. Idra is losing a lot carelessly, and there's the GG from Idra. Holy cow. I did not expect that. Wow. Jinro just went for an early bunker rush and took game three. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for those of you that, well, I guess for those of you that don't want to be spoiled, I'm not going to say anything else. I did learn about how well these players are doing in the rest of the tournament right now, but I'm not going to spoil it because uh, if you're watching this, then uh, there's a 
the tournament is still going on, so there's a possibility uh, that you guys haven't actually been able to catch all the replays. So I'm not going to talk about the results too much yet. Just going to say thanks for watching, you guys. Go check me out on all the social websites, uh, facebook.com slash glitchstarcraft. Uh, check me out on twitter.com slash uh, glitchstarcraft as well. Uh, and Or no, twitter.com slash getglitched. I, God, I've got to just pick one and just stick with it. I'm constantly switching it up, and I just getting myself confused. Anyway, check those sites out. Go follow me there on Twitter. You can actually, or actually on both sites, Twitter and Facebook as well. You can see every time I upload a new replay as well as the name of the replay. So if ever you need a better way to know when I'm posting my videos, check me out there. I've been talking way too much, so I am going to give this up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and glitch out.